hello leo let us take a look at some messages that's coming up for you welcome in this is sage sunset healing tarot and i hope that you're doing well welcome in so we're taking a look at your past current and future energy in love romance spiritual and otherwise getting some messages that will hopefully bring you some clarity in your areas of uncertainty um while you're here hit the thumbs up button subscribe to the channel if you find messages that resonate with you so that you can know whenever i post new content for you and also share the video with those your that you love your fellow leonians now let us get started by the way happy birthday to you leo all right leo season some of you focusing on your business focusing on manifesting a very strong and powerful enterprise or organization you're focusing on doing massive things that will fall all under your brand your challenge is work the way you work the strength you have to work the courage the bravery remaining in your integrity remaining in your heart space being true to yourself while going up against whatever challenges that you may face along this journey. But I feel like you're, you, you are barreling through, not barreling, but you're tanking your way through. It's like you're armored, you're ready up, and you're going through whatever obstacles or challenges you may face in this time. Yes, you, you are affected, you may be scarred sometimes or injured, but you are strong enough and you're going through. And in the end, we'll see where you end up. We'll see how you how you come out of this situation on your journey here forward. Thinking of doing amazing big things here. You're not allowing any relationship, any methods or schemes to set you back. You're just pummeling forward. You're keeping your head down. You're grinding. You have a dream like Martin Luther King. You are doing some great things, Leo. The work you're doing is not for any man or woman. All right. You need the help. You need help too. That's why the chariot is here. Your angels, your spirits and guides are on your side here. You're actually tapping into your earth energy when it comes to your grindability. Okay. You're making moves. You're, you're, it's as if you're moving through the dirt. It's not easy. I mean, we, up to your ankles but you're moving through it's like walking through like, exactly it's like walking through snow that is up to your ankle it's not an easy road it's not an easy road but on this journey it's your calling you feel like you're up for it and it's up for you and you're on it you're doing it and i am really excited to see where this is going to wind up for you so like i say i do feel like you know you have your spiritual backing here you look to these people for guidance encouragement in your times of difficulty and that is beautiful they're always here with everything any answer that you would need require your angels are here and they show up to you in a many in an array of ways in many different forms spiritual form physical form just messages blown to you on the wind your me your guidance is here all around you it's like whatever your your angels are actually shining through you they are so bright it's like they're standing behind you and whatever action you're taking on your journey in your in fulfilling your dreams or on whatever on your journey here you're being guided on your path through the light of your angels I feel like you're a gifted person too. You have many talents. A very, very creative soul, Leo. Very, very creative. I hear inspiring too. You inspire a lot of people. And this is your highest aspiration. Well, well, for some of you, this is that's what you want to do. You want to inspire a lot of people. But I feel like a lot of people are inspired by you more than how you want them to be inspired by you. So you understand what I'm saying? So people are just naturally inspired by you. A lot of people actually with the eight of wands card. So you're not depending on them inspiring on you. In being inspired by you, someone could be spying on you. But it's like they, they're just so inspired by you in a great and powerful way. In your future, we have the four of, hey, the four of swords. So 
you may be taking a vacation or a break or you're about to stop the fussing and the fighting you're about to fight another aha you're about to fight another way you're about to turn to spiritual the eight of swords the eight of wands pardon me leo is also spiritual guiding I, this is also ancestors this feels like when your ancestors fire a lot of arrows at your opponents these these people down here are charging you okay so i do feel like you're 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 very creative you as if you do you you're, you're good at multitasking and you're very creative and you create so well and so quickly so swiftly so easily you, you, hey i like your energy i'd like to be in school with you you remind me of someone when i was going to school okay very efficient Okay, so in the future, I'm seeing you're learning with the Eight of Wands also, probably an inspiration through your spirit guides to settle down, to relax, to surrender, to lay down your burden, possibly in the physical and, 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 and fight in the spiritual with the high priestess energy. So you're tuning in. Okay, because the emperor is one that's physical, more physical based, grinding, putting in the work external. That's um, earth energy. And then the high priestess is more water energy. It's intuition and emotions, insights, getting, getting knowledge through uh, meditation, spiritual guidance. So you'll be leading through your intuition, your high priestess mode. You're seeing yourself over a roadblock here, an obstacle. I feel like it is one that you couldn't have fought physically. So you needed to dive deeper in order to come up with a resolution to get through this barrier, this obstacle. Some of you could be afraid of returning. I don't know to where, maybe to a, a past, past connection, whether in business or relationship. You could be a bit afraid that someone may want to return to you. It may not be a person, it could be a situation, like some, something coming back from the past to haunt you, perhaps. You may be afraid that there's a thing that is in your past. It could be distant past that's coming back up to interfere with your now. And so that's why you're not fighting physical. Wow, that is the ending and that's a tower card. So this is your, okay. But the tower card is saying the result is that something is ending so a relationship a business connection that you're walking away from something is ending you're separating possibly going your own way okay maybe there's something that you're unsure about but you're, you're you're being guided to trust in your intuition in what you already know there's something you already know and and it's like you're being told to allow that to move you in the direction that's good for you Trust in your intuition. Take the leap of faith forward. What is the five of swords? Any other messages for Leo? Something that's causing you confusion. Having to do with a estate. Maybe land or money or a business justice system a marriage someone that you blocked so what is the tower energy what is the tower energy angel spirits and guides what's ending a relationship so the eight of swords again repeated so someone could be served some legal documents and maybe that's how you're dealing with it through law here so maybe you're not the one that's fighting, but you're trusting in law to work for you. Know that you're not alone, both on the physical and spiritual plane. You can receive the help that you need so that you don't have to feel alone going through any situation that maybe you want to disconnect from. Hey, look, the five of swords disconnect. You really you want to disconnect. You are the one that wants to disconnect and you will have it. Will it be victory? Is it victory? Is it is it is a tower card victory? So yeah, hmm. separation, being alone, for working alone. I feel like you just want to do your own thing when it comes to your business. 
this reading is a career reading mainly i feel maybe for some of you there's a hint of relationship something having to do with business something new and maybe wanting a new contract or wanting to revisit your contract and you're hoping that some contractual agreement if ten of swords so i feel like you're hoping that it will work in your favor that you will get little opposition and then you'll have an ending as if you could want a divorce and you're hoping that the other person is willing to give it to you and you can just leave amicably <coughs> amicably <laughs> there's something wrong with that okay and why do you want a divorce i feel like the other person may not be as willing to give it to you maybe this person is your soulmate a person that loves you or you love maybe this is not an easy journey all right for some people okay Lee, i'm leaving your reading here i really did not intend for it to be that long i hope you found messages here that resonates with you and is able to help you along your journey thank you so much for coming through happy birthday to you much love and prosperity success happiness health wealth on your journey here and i'll catch you in the next reading remember that you can be do have everything and anything in this world that you desire because you're all and all is within you much love take care